What a god awful program this SmackDown is. Did you watch the show, Mike? I, I unfortunately I did. Yes, was, uh, that well, was something. That was something. Here's a here's a quick look, everybody. As always, myself and Filthy Tom Lawler are going to be reviewing SmackDown on the Filthy Four Daily Show on Monday Monday afternoon. And by the way, for those of you wondering, the new schedule will be Mondays with myself and Filthy Tom reviewing not only SmackDown, but New Japan's new one-hour Friday night show, NJPWWorld.com, NJPW Strong. It's an hour a week, airs on Friday night, so what better show to review alongside SmackDown than New Japan? We're going to review SmackDown, one of the worst wrestling shows of all time, Mm-hmm. And New Japan. I think that's I cannot wait idea. for Mondays. Oh man, I this is actually a good thing. You get to, you have to suffer, and you have all of the pain of watching SmackDown. But then you get to wash all that away. You get to, you get to clear all that away with with New Japan Pro Wrestling. You should be, or, you should actually be happy about this. Maybe we, maybe we review the, maybe we review the SmackDown show first, and then we review New Japan afterwards. Well, that's what I'm saying. Why would you want to do it the other way? Or the other way around. You do New Japan then... first. I'm sorry. New Japan first, and then SmackDown afterwards. So SmackDown looks like an even worse television show, if that's well, even possible. I don't think that's possible. But I don't right, want to so dare we... them at this point. So we had Sheamus versus Matt Riddle, which ended in a disqualification when Shorty G ran in. Shorty G turned heel last week. He comes back here. He gets beaten up by Matt Riddle. And then he gets beaten up by Sheamus. Now, Dave explained to me that he believes that Sheamus has turned babyface. Mm-hmm. At no point during the show did I think that Sheamus was a babyface. I just thought that everybody on the entire show was a heel. I guess we'll find out. Well. So then, I- yes. No, well, I was, no, I was going to mention something about Baron Corbin. But you know what? Mentioning anything about Baron Corbin is usually a bad thing. So you just go ahead and go on. Then we had a Miz and Morrison a dirt sheet episode, which involved an interview with Mandy Rose's hair. This was beyond god awful. Sonya Deville came out and she cut a pretty good promo, although they did talk about how Mandy had received a bumpy award. Apparently, that's an award that they give away on the bump. And if you think I didn't want to know what the bump was before, now I really don't need to know what the bump is. And then. We end up having Otis and Tucker hit the ring to set up a match for later. Cesaro beat Lince Dorado. No surprise there. That was at least a good match with a finish. So I appreciated that. If you're going to watch one thing on the show, that's pretty much the thing to watch. Then we had a segment with The Fiend and Alexa Bliss. Where The Fiend is in the ring with Alexa Bliss. So they're either like teaming up together now. Or Alexa has been missing for a full week and nobody cares. He tries to lure Braun Strowman to the ring with Alexa. Braun appears on the big screen and says, and I quote, I don't give a damn about Alexa. It's like, wow, you're supposed to be a babyface, buddy. They have agreed to a match at SummerSlam. I went on our board and I had people trying to explain to me that this whole segment was like a figment of Bray's imagination huh. or of, of, of Strowman's. I'm, I'm like, what? <laughs> it's bad enough when I have to see a vignette, like a, a you know theatrical style match where Alexa Bliss is part of it and she's buddy buddy with, with Bray Wyatt. But now it's like they're actually in the ring doing a segment. And I'm being told it's part of someone's imagination or something. This is the bottom of the barrel. Corbin and Jeff Hardy went to a disqualification when we had a run-in. We then had Corbin and Sheamus, which I mistakenly last night said went to a disqualification. But in fact, Matt Riddle interfered, but it wasn't a disqualification. Even though every other interference on the show was a disqualification. And then Sheamus bro-kicked Corbin and beat him. Keep in mind how much they protect Baron Corbin. And Baron Corbin beats and gets heat on everybody. And this is how they beat the guy? A win for Sheamus? 
We have a Big E promo, which was the only other good thing on the show. We had the hokiest Sasha and Bailey segment with Stephanie McMahon on a green screen in the Performance Center. It was so corny. They have they have announced that next week there is a tri branded battle royal. The winner faces Bailey at SummerSlam. If Rhea Ripley wins, great. Then I, I apologize for every Rhea Ripley rant I've gone on for the NXT show where they don't have anything to do with her and they're completely lost. If if this is what they've decided to do with her and she beats Bailey for the title and she wins the SmackDown women's title at SummerSlam, great. I can't believe I'm giving them any benefit of the doubt. But I hope that's what happens here. Still doesn't excuse all the garbage, but sure, go ahead. We had Miz and Morrison versus Heavy Machinery when it, this ended when Mandy hit the ring and brawled with Sonya. Two people not in the match, and it was a DQ. <laughs> they did the same thing on Monday. Horrible. And then finally... In the dumbest angle I've ever seen. Well, not ever seen. I watched a lot of WCW. But this is this is right up there with anything on Nitro or Thunder. Mandy and Sonya are screaming at each other backstage and the lights go out. Michael Cole screams, Oh my God, they have weapons. Is that retribution? <laughs> a bunch of geeks. Dressed all in black with baseball bats. The local ruffians at the middle school, they hit the ring, and they, they pound on the, the canvas with their baseball bats, and they run amok, and in a very disturbing scene, like, a bunch of dudes surround this helpless woman and scare her half to death, and then they make sure you know that they're women beating up women, because these Retribution members have their hair coming out of their masks, just so you know, even though I guess they could just be long-haired men. They beat the woman up. And then they get in the ring, and one of them fires up a chainsaw, and he cuts the ring ropes. I'm like, man, wow, look at these rebels cutting them ring ropes. It was so bad. It, the camera work was, the camera work was like, they want this to be, you're, like I noted, the, the Portland Rioters. And so, the actual professional camera people in WWE have to film this like somebody outside with their cell phone. There's like you weird zooming and then, you know, like a shot from like way up in the cheap seats. And it's so bad. And I'm sure that they love it. And they thought it was so great. But, dude, Raw is dying a death. You know, this show was up very, very slightly, but it's dying a death. This stuff is so bad. They think that this is going to turn this show around. It's just so sad to watch WWE, Ron SmackDown. It's so sad. Uh, just completely out to lunch. No clue. No stars. A bunch of stupid ideas. Does anyone expect any good follow-up? What, someone's going to pull his mask off and it's Ali or, or whoever? A bunch of guys that they already fired that we already know that they didn't care about because they fired him. But now they're bringing him back to be a retribution group. I mean, is that what we're getting here? Like, who could care about this? I'm lost. It's just not well done. It's just not well done in any way. And I, I don't... I, I, if there's any question at all about why Wednesday has become the night of, of wrestling and wrestling fans, well, there you go. It's stuff like this. Uh, Raw Underground and the whole concept and this whole deal with this broke-ass Antifa. Uh, my friend Lou Kippelman called it Antira because it's anti-ratings. Uh, Sure, you know, uh, Benjamin Lashley and Montavious running the underground. I just I don't know what is going through any of their heads when it comes to a lot of this stuff. And